straight on now uh, to hear from Professor Okano from the Japanese Brain Minds Project. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, it's my great pleasure that I can be here. Okay, so um, I'd like to thank the organizer for kindly inviting me. My name is Hideki Okano. I'm from Keio University School of Medicine, and also I'm, I belong to the Riken Brain Science Institute. Okay, please let me introduce uh, the uh, brain mapping project in Japan. It's called Brain Minds. Okay, uh, there's increasing interest in uh, brain mapping project across the world. So Brain Initiative US and so Human Brain Project here in Europe. And Japan started its own uh, brain mapping project called Brain Minds since 2014. It's an abbreviation of the uh, brain mapping by integrated neurotechnology for disease studies that's so supported by the MEX and AMED. Uh, according to its name, so, uh, it's, by, uh, it's oriented for understanding human brain disorders. And a key play, one of the key players is shown here in the common mindset. So among a non-human primate, uh, we prepare the common marmoset. Uh, marmoset is a small new world primate that has been uh, used extensively as biomedical researches. Okay, advantage of marmoset include that. So marmoset cell can cross-react many human hormone cytokines, and they can be uh, handled with compatible ease. Their size is like, like rat, but their brain is bigger. It's uh, almost eight grams and has very nice prefrontal cortex, and it's very suitable for the comprehensive analysis of the brains. And they have high reproductive efficiencies. Uh, they attain early sexual maturation, around one year old. And so one female animal produces from 40 to 80 offspring per, per life. Such as, OK, high reproductive efficiency is a strong advantage to develop transgenic technologies. And basic research tools are available in Mumset, so neurological disease model. And so we uh, finished whole genome sequencing last year and published a scientific report. And so now genome editing can be possible. And so uh, Marmoset provides excellent model for neuroscience. Uh, they show the characteristic social behavior. Uh, they live as a family, one husband and one wife and many kids. And the father should take care of their kids. And so they have very enriched vocal communication. And they make eye contact with each other. And many, and, and, and many are human-like traits uh, present. Now we are studying its genetic uh, mechanisms. So it's likely that all the, it's submitted, I cannot say, they're likely to be convergent evolution taking place. And transgenic technology are very mom set. Actually, in 2009, we published a paper about so, the, uh, the generation of transgenic non-human primate uh, with the virus mediated gene transfers. Now it's patented in many countries, US, Europe, China, and Korea, and Singapore, and Japan. So the um, idea is that, OK, I inject the range virus. And so select the transgenic embryo before transfer. So uh, we can generate transgenic uh, uh, <coughs> found animals with 100% of the efficiencies. So uh, by using this technique, we uh, recently generated so, uh, the Parkinson's disease model that uh, the overexpressed mutant form of the alpha synuclein. Uh, so that is based on the human genetics of the family of Parkinson's disease. So uh, this is uh, the mutant alpha synuclein with fused with a Xavira orange fluorescence protein with 2A peptide. So this range virus injected in unfertilized egg followed by in vitro, trans, uh, in vitro fertilizations. So this is eight cell stages. You can distinguish a fluorescence positive embryo that is transgenic. These are non-transgenic. So only fluorescence positive embryo transfer to surrogate mothers. And the founder animals carry transgenes, 100% penetrance. We also could show that, so germline transmissions. Actually, by using these founder animals, we have performed longitudinal studies of the, uh, PET scanning of the dopamine transporter. One year old, no difference. And so two years old, no difference control of transgenic. But three years, big differences. And uh, such a dopamine transporter binding. OK. so. Uh, such uh, uh, longitudinal changes also okay, reflected the changes in their symptoms. At the early stages, okay, before motor symptoms appear, they show that so, uh, sleep disturbances. And, but, but it's uh, two years old, but they have not shown that, uh, the motor symptoms. But three years old, so they started to show the tremor uh, phenotype and also mo okay, so gait disturbances phenotypes. Uh, we found that such gait disturbance phenotype can be rescued by L-DOPA treatment. <coughs> So it really actually recaptures the progression of the Parkinson's diseases. And so for such a new uh, uh, 
uh, late onset neurological disorders, we need to use a model that is uh, predormal stages before the clinical symptom appears. Then we can perform early detection and early intervention for the preemptive me uh, medicine for the Parkinson disease. In a similar okay, uh, idea, we already generated mutant form or APP expressing Alzheimer's disease model mouseset and also uh, expressing a mutant form TDP43 to recapture LS or uh, frontal temporal dementias. And in addition to the range virus mediated gene transfer, I will also perform in gene, in genome editing. By using genome editing method, okay, we generated okay, uh, the uh, MECP2 uh, knockout. So uh, Dr. Moomin Pu talked about transgenic model of the, uh, the uh, red syndrome model. Here we have performed genome editing. And so uh, okay, well, we have uh, the animals that shows a mis okay, one base deletion in the uh, DNA binding dom uh, uh, mesided DNA binding domains, and they started to show the very interesting phenotypes. Okay, so by using some mumset, okay, we have uh, produced uh, lots of disease model. Okay, so before we de developed transgenic technologies, uh, we had okay, the drug-induced Parkinson disease model. So by administrating so MPTP, so such a drug-induced model is a, a model of a dopamine neuron loss, but it's acute model, but the real human disease is a, a chronic and progressive diseases. Uh, only by using the transgenic technology, we can recapture disease progressions. And also, before uh, okay, developing uh, transgenic technology, we already uh, produce a middle cerebral artery occlusion model or spinal cord injury models. And these models are now being used as a preclinical model for transplantation of the human iPS derived neural stem cells. By using spinal cord injury model for the mouse, we transplanted human iPS derived neural stem cell in the confirmed its safety and effectiveness. And so based on these results, we wish to start first human trial for the um, spinal cord injury within our, uh, two or three years. Okay, so um, by using range virus mediated gene transfer, we generate Parkinson disease model and potential Alzheimer and ALS models. And also by using genome editing, okay, uh, we generate MECP2 knockout, red syndrome, and immunodeficiency model. And now uh, in collaboration with Broad Institute, okay, by CRISPR-Cas9 method, uh, we are ma making Shanks 3 knockout, and also by using Teren TSC2 knockout. This is a, a model for the autism. And also, okay, we are m m making the immuno, Okay, sorry. Myelin okay, deficient animals and the uh, precise mesbaca disorders model that is ongoing. Uh, based on such a characteristic of the mouseset, okay, Japan started uh, the Brain Minds project okay, uh, since 2014 that supported MEXT and AMED. AMED is a new funding agency. It's like NIH style. And so the project leader is Atsushi Miyawaki in Rikken Brain Science Institute and myself, Hideki Okano. And it is uh, composed of three groups. Well, a group is the structure and functional mapping of the marmoset brains in the healthy animals and also diseased animals. So that is led by myself. And B group is the development of uh, the innovative neurotechnology for the brain mapping. That is led by Atsushi Miyawaki. And here we are going to develop new technology, including clearing brain or a new optogenetic method or a new probe for the, okay, for the calcium imaging. Uh, so, or, Autophagy, autophagy uh, as a imaging or as a, as a, or as a <coughs> or reactive oxygen species imaging, etc. Okay, and the C group is led by the uh, C group is uh, aim for the human brain mapping and clinical uh, researches. Uh, this is led by the, uh, Professor Kyoto Kasai. He is a, a professor of the Psychiatry University of Tokyo. So uh, the C groups uh, constitute as a. Uh, 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 including a healthy person, and also the group, A group is uh, psychiatry disorders, B group is uh, dementia, C group is uh, neurodegenerative disorders, including Parkinson's disease, and D group is uh, stroke, stroke group. And we are doing lots of the clinical studies and identify biomarkers uh, for, for, the, uh, for the diagnosis and so to see the therapeutic method. And so uh, the uh, outline of the brain minds is now uh, published okay, as, uh, in this Okay, uh, the review paper, Philosophical okay, Transactions, uh, Royal uh, Society London, okay, 2015. Let me briefly do that, okay, over through that. As regards the structure mapping mammoth brains, uh, we are working in uh, three different resolutions, macro level, meso level, micro levels. For macro level, uh, we are doing the MRI-based imaging, and so, to, uh, and so meso level is uh, uh, 
So trace in, by tracer injection, uh, we have the um, okay, optical microscope. And so uh, the, uh, uh, this is done okay, so together with MRI imaging with the same animal. And micro level, as uh, we, we perform micro circuitry by electron microscopies, uh, this is done okay, in collaboration with uh, Jeff Lifteman in the Harvard. We had a very important technical transfer his laboratories. Anyway, so uh, okay, this is an uh, example of uh, the MRI imaging of the uh, mouse brains. We have used uh, 9.4 Tesla MRI machines. And by using this, uh, we have very beautiful uh, the, uh, anatomical atlas by using this technique. And together with, okay, uh, NIS, we also perform a nissel based histological mapping. And so uh, this, this is a histological mapping so, uh, the, uh, published by Dr. Hashikawa and Iriki from the Riken Brain Science Institute. Uh, this is MRI-based diffusion tensor imaging. Uh, these informations are integrated by informatis, informatics. And now we have, so this is a draft of the connection matrix. Of the, this shows that, so sorry for busy slides. So this shows that, uh, the part of the brain. And this shows that how can they connect each other and what's the strengths among each, so by the anatomical mapping. Well, for the function mapping, uh, we are uh, using so, uh, the uh, fMRI. Okay, fMRI based okay, uh, the mapping of the mammoth brains. Actually, as you know, there's increased interest in uh, rest, okay, in resting state fMRI in human in terms of default mode network, and but its uh, anatomical basis is still unknown. Uh, much remains unknown. So we want to okay, okay, fill this. Uh, fill, uh, fill, we want to fill this gap uh, by performing the mammoth. So the anatomical mapping and function mapping by using the same animal. Okay, this is a diffusion test imaging, and this is a resting state based okay, uh, the mapping of the uh, function connection uh, with okay, uh, each domains. So this will be done by using the same animal and characterize. Okay, so we will see that function mapping with anatomical basis. This is not an aim for the, uh, the Y type. Uh, we are going to characterize them. Autism model, Rett syndrome model, we generated. And Parkinson disease model, we generated. And Alzheimer disease model, uh, we generated. And FTA model, uh, we generated by uh, the transgenic. So by using this, uh, we, we are want to the clarify responsible neuron circuit that result in the diseases. This is very important target of the uh, new therapeutics. This shows that so how we perform the awake fMRI. This is Mamset and uh, face. Uh, we fixed them in the, such a 3D printers in the awake state. Oh, they are relaxed, okay? Oh, so they are very relaxed and we can do that. There are lots of tasks. And also, uh, okay, in, in this okay, screen, we, we, we show them the various movies or the okay, visual stimulus. And so their uh, visual response can be monitored such as uh, the bold signal. So now by using this, uh, we have okay, monitored the dorsal pathway and the ventral pathway, and so response in the prefrontal cortex. And so this is now compared with the anatomical mappings. In addition to the, okay, such a, um, in addition to such a, uh, the imaging study, uh, okay, we, but we, we are going to also okay, uh, contribute uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, mapping by the transgenic technologies, okay, by cell type specific approaches. Uh, we are generating the uh, transgenic mouse set, like dopamine transporter curie, parvim curie, cat curie, emigrate 5 curie, oxygen exchange curies. Uh, these play very important roles in the higher brain function and so its relation to psychiatric disorders. These we cross the TD tomato for the axon mapping and WGA transgenetic labeling, GCAM for calcium imaging, and ACT for the, uh, the optogenetics. Okay, so these we uh, okay, greatly contributed to understanding the anatomy and the functions and so in the uh, non human primates. So these uh, okay, data will be collected. So sorry, for the busy slide. This is a very important connection human brain project. So in five years, we have got the macro, macro, ma, ma, okay, brain atlas for the, okay, the, uh, the macro level in five years. And in 10 years, quantitative evaluation, cellular and the molecular levels so is in 10 years. So these okay, uh, data okay, so will be simulated for the, uh, their brain function by using supercomputer K. This will be done, Dr. Doya in the uh, Okinawa Institute of Technologies. All the data is collected, will be so, okay, uh, the, uh, the shared by the, by the uh, research community together with RM Brain Science Institute, Human Brain Project, and also uh, uh, International okay, uh, Neuroinformatics. Okay, so last slide. Okay, so how do the, okay, the clinical studies and the connected such a mammoth studies? Uh, we have ideas. 
Okay, so uh, we have four groups of the uh, clinical studies. For example, psychiatric disorder research team is now that they identify disease-oriented neural circuit using multi-center uh, database uh, clinical biomarkers and developing in, okay, uh, translatable brain markers using primate and uh, humans. And analyzing neural circuit in model marmoset and make feedback clinical data for the developing clinical relevant biomarkers. Uh, these cycles are ongoing and so develop new findings in the therapeutics. And so uh, the further information on the brain mind can be obtained uh, these domains, okay, including uh, homepage and publication. And also we have a okay, uh, round table discussion with Kabir uh, foundations. Thank you very much for your attention. <coughs>